How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo21 back again with another video here in our UFC save in WMMA5. And here we have UFC on ABC, Gustafson versus Shogun Hua. Rematch from a fight a long time ago. Main event, light heavyweight division, Alexander Gustafson taking on Shogun Hua. You can see the main card here. Jan Blahovich coming off his loss to the light heavyweight champion, John Jones. He faces off against Vulcan Uzdemir. Chad Mendez faces off against Yair Rodriguez in the featherweight division. Jacare Sosa against Omari Akhmedov in the middleweight division. In the featherweight division, GDR taking on Sarah Kaufman. And in the heavyweight division, big country, Roy Nelson in action against Justin Willis. Big titty go home. Big shout out to everyone in the chat. Hope you guys enjoy the you know content that I make. Be sure to leave a like down below. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to follow me on Twitch so you can be a part of the streams when I do record these. With that being said, a little bit of news, honestly. Um, we just signed a new pay-per-view provider in Dish Network. Hopefully, we get a little bit more money in the pay-per-view department that way. But as far as everything else, the broadcasters are set up. All the news and the emails are taken care of. Let's get to Fight Night Gustafson versus Shogun 2. Taking place in Scandinavia, Gustafson's home region, I guess. Second edition of Gustafson versus Shogun. Edion Gomez versus Julia Stoliarenko. Edion Gomez missed weight, so she'll be in the featherweight division after this. And we might actually just said send Edion Gomez down to Invicta. She gets knocked out in round number one by Julia Stoliarenko. Up next, Vivian Araujo taking on Rebel Girl Ashley Evans Smith. Araujo eight and three with a huge. Huge advantage over Evan Smith, who is 6-5. And, and Araujo gets a win in round number one via rear naked choke. And she would like to fight Poliana Mota next. Uh, yeah, yeah, we should, honestly. So what RBM just messaged there, or what he just put in the chat, uh, our next fight card that we have going on is Nganu versus John Jones for the heavyweight title. And literally a week before his fight, he leaves his fight camp. Don't know why. Randa Marcos versus Harika Terbusio. Harika Terbusio wins via submission in round number one. So a five-inch height disadvantage for Terbusio, but she gets her second win in the UFC. Good for her. And Marcos are probably going to send down to Invicta. She is now 10-10-1. She would like to fight Kanako Murata next. Yanan Wu taking on Pollyanna Viana Mota in the flyweight division, 11 and 3 versus 11 and 4. And Pollyanna Viana Mota gets the win via split decision. And she would like to fight Marina Maroche next. And RBM, don't forget to remind me to put uh, Nganu in a new fight camp. Up next, Angel of Death, Demacio Page, veteran of the Octagon, taking on Brandon Raw Dog. That's a terrible nickname Roy Val and Damasio Page gets the win via unanimous decision and he would like to fight Hayato Suzuki next Andrew Alderte Sanchez taking on Zach Cummings Cummings 23 and 8 Sanchez 11 and 5 and Cummings gets the win via unanimous decision he would like to face Alexander Schlemko next Mark O. Madsen taking on Chris Wade in the lightweight division. Mark Madsen is 10 and 1, coming off the loss to Nad Naramani. Chris Wade, 18 and 7. His UFC, I was going to say debut, but he's been here before. Coming off a win in PFL. And Mark Madsen gets the win via submission and gone to the new Diego Sanchez. Yeah, probably right. And Mark Madsen getting his third win in the octagon. Up next, Macy Chason taking on Marina. Mark Natkina in the Bantamweight division. Chason a heavy favorite. And she loses in a fantastic fight to Marina Mark Natkina via rear naked choke. So the ultimate fighter winner losing here. She lost to Lena Landsberg and lost to Marina Renault. And now losing to Mark Natkina. And in her debut fight, nonetheless, interesting. Good for Marina. 
letting her name be known. Roy Nelson will win by knockout in the first round. That's what Gluttony says. Jim Crute versus Khalil Roundtree in the light heavyweight division. Jim Crute, a huge favorite. And Khalil Roundtree wins by knockout in round number one, improving to 10-5. and five. And he was a huge underdog, too. So he, lo he beat Justin Ledette, lost to Sam Alvey, and now getting a big win over Jim Crute who was number 23 in the light heavyweight division. And he says you just got to believe in yourself. He was the underdog after all. Final prelim fight, Alir Latifi taking on Andre Arlovsky. Arlovsky coming off uh, two straight losses to Rosenstrike and Rogerio de Lima. Meanwhile, Latifi in the heavyweight division coming off a win over Brendan Schaub. And Andre Arlovsky is your winner via TKO in another fantastic fight. Love to see it. Arlovsky getting back in there. And Arlovsky is actually retired from MMA. Good to see him going out on his own terms. On a win. Good for him. F's in the chat for Andre Arlovsky. Have a great life, sir. Enjoy whatever it is that you decide to do. Big Country Roy Nelson versus Justin Willis in our first card in our first fight on the main card 44 years of age Roy Nelson might retire here as well coming off a win over Fedor in Bellator and Justin Willis coming off a couple of wins in PFL good for him and Roy Nelson wins via leg lock in round number one 44 years of age. I imagine he's probably going to retire too. And no! 44 years old. Roy Nelson's still going strong. Love to see that. Jermaine Durandamy versus Sarah Kaufman in the featherweight division. A big fight in the featherweight division. Two really, really good fighters in the featherweight division. Adding a little bit of legitimacy to it. Sarah Kaufman. 5'5", five, five, little 4-inch advantage for Jermaine Durandamy. Let's see what happens. And Jermaine Durandamy beats Sarah Kaufman. <laughs> Roy Nelson, no submissions exist, exactly. He wants the belt. Perhaps he does. GDR getting the win via TKO. Her first featherweight win. Coming off a win over Units Kaya. Charismatic, all right. You like to see that. Up next, Jacare Souza, heavy favorite against Okmari Akhmedov. Akhmedov, number 14 in the division, coming off a big win over Shabazian. Meanwhile, Jacare coming off three straight losses to Hermanson, Lahovic, and Darren Till. And Jacare Souza getting a big win here over our Mari Akhmedov via toehold, interestingly enough. And he said he was very confident with leg-based submissions and happy he was able to get to use it. Up next, Chad Money Mendez in the featherweight division taking on Yair Rodriguez. Rodriguez in this game has fought twice already. Lost to Zabit, but then beat Arnold Allen. Currently number nine in the featherweight division. Chad Mendez, number eight in the featherweight division. Coming off a win over Edson Barbosa. My money's on Yair. And he loses via unanimous decision to Chad Money Mendez. Love to see it. Mendez back in the win column. And he wants to fight Cub Swanson next. Interesting. Co-main event of the evening. Jan Blahovic taking on Vulcan Ozdemir in the light heavyweight division. Of course, Blahovic. Coming off the loss to John Jones. And give me one second as I fix up some music here. There we go. 
Jan Blahovich, of course, coming off the loss to John Jones for the heavy, light heavyweight championship. Vulcan Uzdemir, number four in the light heavyweight division, coming off a win over Corey Anderson, but a loss to Alexander Gustafson. My guess is probably Blahovich. Crazier things have happened as Uzdemir wins via TKO in round number two. Uzdemir is probably one fight away from perhaps a title shot. Good for him. And our main event of the evening in the light heavyweight division, Alexander the Mahler Gustafson, as a is going insane right now, probably. Taking on Mauricio Shogun Hua. Shogun having a good showing with wins over Glover Teixeira and Tiago Santos. And Gustafson coming off a win over Vulcan Uzdemir. So whoever wins here is more than likely going to get a light heavyweight ch uh, championship shot after uh, Dominic Reyes. Let's see what happens. Shogun, a small favorite. Let's get it going. Gluttony has Shogun. Gustafson, of course, in a big home crowd environment. Take down attempt from Shogun. Can't get it. Not much really going on here. It's crazy to think that Gustafson, you know, like was thinking about actually retiring. I don't know on board, says Gustafson by decision. Round one ends, apparently went to Gustafson. Thumping kick to the thigh. Leg kick for Gustafson. A nice right hook. Catch a Shogun with a right hook. Under a minute left to go here in round number two. Yeah, he, he wanted to retire. And then he just decided, hey, I'm going to come back and be a heavyweight now. Uh-oh, Gus is in pulling guard. Time runs out on number two. Apparently, Gustafson is up by two rounds. Maybe that take down at the end. Maybe gave uh, a little bit of a uh, show in the judge's eyes. Uh-oh, Gustafson in trouble. Muay Thai clinch. Knee to the chest. Under a minute left to go. Gustafson is apparently tired. Took a couple of knees to the body. Gustafson is very tired in round number three. Shogun limping heavily. Round three ends. Gustafson is apparently up by two rounds. The weight cut. Yeah, that was probably it. Probably getting super tired from that weight cut. Gustafson up against the cage now. Ty clinch now for Shogun. Gustafson is super tired. All these, you know, Ty knees into the body, into his chest. They've got to be taking it out of him. Left hook to the ribs. Misses a right hook. Right hook to the ribs once again. Shogun with left hook. And this might be the final round with everything to fight for here. A future title shot, perhaps, at stake here. Gustafson looks really gassed. Takes a knee to the chest. Shogun might win this fight. He's in control here. Ty clinch. He might have won three rounds. Under a minute left to go. 
Damage to his legs under a minute left to go. Avoided at the last second. Both are very tired into the clinch. Up against the cage. Tie clinch. Knee to the ribs. And the fight is over. My guess is that Shogun won. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest 48 47 for the winner by unanimous decision, Mauricio Shogun Hua. Rated as an average fight, Mauricio Shogun Hua at 39 years of age. I mean, qualifies for a title fight, in my opinion. He could just retire here. And he doesn't. He says he would like to face Serkinov next for some reason. Shogun Hua back in the title picture. You'll love to see it. Attendance of 2,400. Gate of around 400K. Popularity increases all around. You love to see that. Fight of the night. Ooh. You know what? We're going to give two fight of the night bonuses. Arlovsky fight and the Mock Nat Kina fight. Ooh, we can only choose one. So we're going to give a performance bonus to Mock Nat Kina. Stolyarenko. I'm feeling a little... I'm feeling, you know... And then Khalil Roundtree. There you go. We made a million dollars in profit. Yeah. If he were retired, that would have sucked because that would have meant that uh, Gustafson basically lost for nothing. Shogun's making a lot of money. Hopefully, we have to renegotiate with him. All right. You know the deal. We'll go ahead and update our rankings, take a look at our emails, and then sign off. The next time that I do a fight card, it's going to be for our next pay-per-view. And then we do have to talk to Nganu and uh, tell him to join another fight camp because he, he's got to, you know... Get something figured out here. We do need to get Ngannou a new camp. That is what I'm going to try to do next. Hope you guys are enjoying your Wednesday evening, about 7 p.m. where I'm at. Still going to enjoy the rest of my night. Might get a little bit of a bite to eat before playing a little bit of Yakuza Zero. It's so weird, like the views on like my videos and stuff like that. Like right now... The booking stream, the last one that I just did, has more views than Rory McDonald versus Gilbert Burns. <laughs> Interestingly enough, um, the Valentina Shevchenko versus Chaitlin Kukagian fight card has more views than the Anderson Silva versus Jack Hermanson fight card. Imagine that. And the Jorge Masvidal versus Nate Diaz fight card. A lot of that could just be because it's like the more recent ones, but then. The Shevchenko Chukagian fight card has more views than the last pay per view that I did, Adesanya and Whitaker. Pretty weird.
pretty weird. I saw Matt Riddle's name in there. That probably means that he got hired or is at least being offered contracts by somebody. That's interesting. All right, let's see what we got going on here. First of all, Francis Ngannou. Dog, you're literally a week away from the biggest fight of your life and you don't have a team? Okay. Wait, he set up Legacy Martial Arts team? Oh, no, 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 no. Gluttony, nice to see you as always. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a good one. So that's not necessarily what I meant to do. I meant for him to join a team. He just created his own. Oh, well. Let's update our rankings. At heavyweight, Roy Nelson moves up to number 12. Willis is down to number 18. Uh, Emilianenko is back in at number 25. At light heavyweight, Vulcan Uzdemir moves up. Shogun is up to number 5 only. Yeah, I would definitely say that... Uh, I would definitely say that Hua is more deserving of the title shot. Teixeira, Santos, Gustafson. Boom. Gustafson moves down to number 7. Phil Davis moves up to number 12. Khalil Roundtree up to number 19. At middleweight, Jacare moves into number 4. Uh, Akhmedov moves down to number 16. Cummings moves up to number 21. Kennedy, Mearshart move up. Costello, Vancinas. In at number 25. Welterweight, there is no movement. Lightweight, there is no movement. Featherweight, Chad Mendez moves into number 5 after wins over Barbosa and Yair Rodriguez. Barbosa moves down to number 7. And Pitbull Freire in at number 9. And then everyone else moves down. Bantamweight, there is no movement. Flyweight, there is Demacio Page, who debuts at 25. Featherweight, Edion Gomez, we're going to actually send down to Invicta. Women's Bantamweight, Macy Chason moves down to 19. Mach Natkina moves up to number 21 only. And then a couple of people debut. I'll keep Martina check up here. She's already ranked, so why not just keep her here? Women's flyweight, Araujo moves up to number 16. Uh, Viana Mota moves up to number 18. Ashley Evan Smith, we are going to send down to Invicta as well. And at strawweight, Random Marcos. We are also going to send down to Invicta. And Tiburcio moves up to number 19. All right. Love to see that. Let's see anything else to talk about here. And no, it does not look like it. Jacare needs to be re-signed.
Matt Riddle, Matt Riddle, Matt Riddle. So yeah, everyone's going after Matt Riddle. Uh, Cheyenne buys from Invicta. Coming off a win, we'll give her another Invicta contract. Alright. Arika Tabercio coming off a couple straight wins. Definitely going to keep her around. Macy Chase on. Uh, two straight losses, but she's still ranked, so we're going to keep her. Yanan Wu. Basically, all women, I'm basically just going to sign to Invicta contracts. You know, and then just like hold them <laughs> for a long time. Zach Cummings. He's going to be ranked now, yeah. Akhmedov, go ahead and re sign him. Ashley Evan Smith. Invicta contract for her. Andrzej Arlovski did retire. We'll go ahead and leave him be. Jim Crute need to resign him. No longer ranked. All right, there we go. So that is going to do it. <clears throat> the next time that I see you guys will be for UFC 258 Jones versus Nganu. Main card is stacked. Carlos Condit versus Danny Roberts. Paige Van Zant versus Mackenzie Dern. Holly Holm versus Marion Renault. For the flyweight championship of the world, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson returns to face Joseph Benavidez. And for the heavyweight championship of the world, John Jones versus Francis and Ganu. Here are the prelims if you want to take a look at them. I'm AZPlyo21. Thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch so you can catch all the streams, especially for the pay-per-view. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later.